Hi, Neil Gittleman here, Artistic Director and Conductor of Your Dayton Philharmonic Orchestra, and welcome to Piano Bench Chat number 25. Gosh, that means one more week, and we'll, we will have been doing this for half a year. Yikes. That was, no surprise, music by Bach, the beginning of his Chacon for solo violin from one of his violin partitas. And uh, I picked that piece, and you're lucky I didn't try to play it on the violin. I picked that little excerpt because that's the shirt that I'm wearing, another one of my Bach shirts. Uh, this was Bach's own manuscript of the Chacon. But I'm really thinking about Mozart right now. And Mozart this week, I have the score to Mozart's, the piano score to Mozart's opera Don Giovanni, working on Don Giovanni uh, the last few days. Uh, you see all these tabs here? It's been hard what we've been doing. Uh, but you know that. We've been doing this for almost half a year. Uh, Don Giovanni is one of Mozart's greatest operas, and it's just a hair under three hours long. And the task we have at uh, Dayton Opera is to turn it into an opera which will be 90 minutes long so that we can perform it in a COVID safe way. And uh, all of these things you see here, all these tabs are what are so far 24 cuts that we're working on putting in the opera to try and have it still be Don Giovanni, still have the great music we love, still tell the story of Don Giovanni, but let us do it in 90 minutes or less with no intermission. It's a challenge and I feel kind of guilty. So perhaps to assuage my guilt, of course, we're getting close to Yom Kippur, so I can atone to Mozart uh, soon enough. Um, but I've been, uh, in addition to playing Bach every day, I've been playing some Mozart to put me in the Mozart mood. And playing Bach and Mozart side by side is so interesting because that music that I played by Bach was written, I have to look it up, written about 60 years before this music of Mozart that I played yesterday as I was working my way through the Mozart piano sonata. So here's a little bit of this piano sonata by Mozart and contrast it to what you just heard from Bach. style. It's from 60 years later. But one of the most striking things I think about that Mozart piece is how often and quickly the character of the music changes. It starts off kind of, I don't know, contemplative. And then suddenly it gets louder and a little more insistent. and dramatic journey. Whereas Bach basically gives you one idea, one emotion, and sticks with it. And that's a, a big philosophical difference. Um, in Bach's time in Germany, there was a, a, an aesthetic called the Affektenlehre, the study of affects. And the idea was that every kind of emotion could have a kind of musical analog and vice versa. And the idea was that music, a piece of music would be designed to convey a certain affect. And there'd be a one-to-one -one relationship, piece of music, affect. In other words, you don't change the mood in the course of a piece of music. The 
role of the piece of music is to convey the affect, or we might, we, we might say the emotion. So in box music, there are very, very few, I mean, you can count them on one hand practically, times when a piece of music actually changes mood within the piece. They typically happen in the, the passions where Bach is telling a story and there's a lot of emotional content. Whereas in Mozart, it changes on a dime all the time. It's a different aesthetic. And that, when I go back and forth and ripsaw stylistically on a given day between starting with Bach and then ending with Mozart, it's just so striking to hear how the idea of music changed so much so quickly. Um, and in, later on in that same passage, in that same uh, Mozart piece, there's even a more dramatic change. He gets to the, the, at the end of the next phrase, gets to the same finish I just played. <laughs> for the entire piece. He wouldn't then suddenly go here. these two great composers. So um, maybe that's my little atonement for all the slicing and dicing we're doing to Don Giovanni. But when it's all, when all is said and done and we, we get to performing Don Giovanni later this season for you, fingers crossed, you know, the creek don't rise and all that sort of thing, uh, we will have a very exciting and compelling and emotional and constantly changing mood-wise uh, Don Giovanni to present to you at Dayton Opera. Um, it's amazing music, and we are so honored to be in this business performing it for you. We have lots of great stuff coming up for you very soon in the next few weeks. Our Carillon Park stream uh, will be uh, coming to you in the mid middle of September, and then our whole lineup of autumn and holiday streams. We have lots more great music and dancing for you to see and enjoy at home from your Dayton Performing Arts Alliance. So as I always say, stay healthy, stay safe, stay sane, stay with us. We will keep filling your life as much as we can with great beauty. Um, and uh, every once in a while, a piano bench chat. So hang in there. Uh, we're, uh, we're getting it one day at a time. So take care.